Following the success of their laminate sporter, Browning have made this. This is the B525GL Game Laminate. So I remember when the first one came out, we were kind of shocked that Browning was making a laminate gun. Now, it's fairly commonplace. People have understood that laminate really does have its place with shotguns. It's heavier, it's more durable, it's probably prettier than grade one would. Subjective. And why not make a game spec one? Given that people in the game field are probably, probably more likely to go out in the rain than clay shooters, maybe. And this laminate is obviously extremely weatherproof. The extra weight, a bit like the Sporter, makes it better balanced. And all in all, it's pretty good. So let's look over, see what you get. So you've got Inflex 2 pads on the back. Take that all the way down from fairly short, all the way up with spaces to pretty much as long as you want, which is quite nice. You have a nutmeg laminate as opposed to the grey laminate, so it is a little bit more subtle. And also being a game gun, you're not wanting to take anything too radical into the field, given that it is still a pretty traditional place. The gun is laser checkered and comes onto a standard, very plain action. The very plain action is intentional because they're quite fashionable. And the sort of person who wants to buy a laminate shotgun probably doesn't want traditional game scene engraving. Interestingly, the gun comes with an adjustable trigger on a game gun. I don't see that as a bad thing necess necessarily. Again, this gun is designed around practicality. This is probably going to be your your not quite so fair weather gun if you're buying one and if it's your only gun you probably don't care about adjustable triggers and how they look and to be fair it doesn't look bad at all the gun is a manual safety but comes with an automatic safety in the box and to all intents and purposes inside is just a standard 5 through 5 so you're going to get that great reliability the barrels are quite exciting they've gone for a matte finish or a satin finish which actually it looks really good it really does look very good. It's going to be anti-glare, be great for pigeon shooting, duck shooting, stop any glints on a high gloss barrel and should be a little bit more durable than a blued finish. The barrels are in Vector Plus chokes and it comes in a 28 and 30 inch with a 6mm parallel rib. All in all, it's a really sweet machine. It's interesting that most people would go out now and buy a sporting shotgun and shoot all their sporting clays and game with that and most people really would ignore most game guns for sporting clays. I think what we've got here is the first gun in a long time that is a game gun that would actually be able to take out on the sporting clays circuit and compete to a certain level with. It's got the weight, it's got the looks that fits very well into both worlds. I really like it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts. And we'll see you next time.